starts at 8.15, it is 6.28, and I'm running a little late. I'm running a little late because I had to wait for somebody to get ready this morning, my partner in crime. So we're going to try to film a few um, lessons. We're going to get to work through some hives and hopefully be able to better figure out how to find our, our queen. Not the queen I left in the house, the queen of the beehive. And we'll keep you updated as we go. And that's a major honey source. So you'll start to get aware of where you live and what's available to you. And I have a slideshow for all 12 months of the year. Um, I'm only going to show you these few. Um, here's hen beds. It's, it's full wood where it starts feeding on its body. And every 30 hours, that light lays an egg that becomes a nymph. And then all those family members are sucking the blood of that developing bee, the mother mite and her offspring. And it's not a pretty thing. The mother mite sucks on the bee, goes away for a while. The bee pupa tries to put a scab on, and then her she needs to open that scab so her baby mites can feed. And so this is constant forming a scab, and getting ruptured. And what happens is all that leads to viruses getting infected to our bees. And that's what kills our bees. Here's a mother mite and her family. You can see how many offspring are there? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. There's a family of five plus the mother. Um, there's one son in there and four daughters. And they're all feeding on the developing bee. of the wing and then you can see down in there and just wherever you blow at they'll they'll clear out of the way for a little while and then after the bottom that's a one of the drone larvae that they okay. came out of here and it fell to the bottom and uh they're just trying to dispose of it You see how I move my hand fast and they, they just about jump to you. But if you move slow, they really don't, they're not as aggressive, but you don't want to get in. You see all these YouTube videos of these people getting in their hives and stuff without, without veils on and stuff like that. It's not too bad if it's your own bees and you know how they are, but uh, see, that's all power. Mm -hmm. So they're in the hive. And that's this using a screen bottom board with a sampling board. Uh, the idea is uh, your colony is sitting on this, and this is an insert that you can spray with a cooking spray, non stick cooking spray. And the idea is you coat this evenly, especially on the grid, and then your colony, your colony is sitting out there, and you walk in behind it, you slide this in the groove. I missed the groove. And you leave it in place for three days. And what happens is mites are clumsy. They drop constantly. And in, if you have a solid bottom boards, a lot of times they crawl up. But the number that fall to this floor are directly proportional to the number that are in the colony. And it turns out it's a good way to estimate what's there, or kind of estimate whether it's high or low. So what you do is you leave it in place for three days. Mites fall through the screen, get caught in the cooking oil and die. And then you pull that out and you count the number of mites on there and you divide by the number of days it was in there. And I wouldn't leave it in longer than three days because so much trash falls with this. And it gets hard to count the mites if you go longer than three days. So go about three days, count the total number of mites, divide by three. And that'll give you mites that drop per day and then there are thresholds. There are different ones published.